Good Friday. Jesus had already been betrayed by dear friends. He had already been beaten and being weak from his beatings, he had already carried the cross to Golgotha and now he is on the cross. And in Luke chapter 23, 44 and following, it says, it was now about the sixth hour and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. While the sun's light failed, it tells us, and it says the curtain of the temple was torn in two. And then Jesus calling out with a loud voice said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. I don't believe that Jesus was calling out angry at God, but I do believe he was calling out in anguish because of the sin that he was taking on our behalf. And we need to know that. We need to remember in walking this journey, in walking this journey to the cross, but also to being able to celebrate the resurrection, we need to remember that Christ cried out to his heavenly Father because he took on for us our sin. As we on this Good Friday are able to come and, and worship together to remember all that Christ has done, we need to sit and reflect upon all that Christ has accomplished on our behalf. The curtain tore. The world became dark so that you and I could experience the love and the grace and the forgiveness of a mighty God. Let's walk this journey together. And then afterwards, let's go tell the world what he's done.